Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, the Germans, filled with guilt and uh, under occupation, will provide Ukraine with a new batch of uh, weapons. And uh, it's not going to be any kind of weapons. It's going to be the most advanced weapons they have. And uh, it might make you think, uh, where is this uh, love for Ukraine uh, uh, coming from? Well, I know where it's coming, com if I'm coming from. It comes from uh, Washington, D.C. <laughs> this article comes from Ukrainska Pravda from today, December 13th, 2022. Germany announces what military equipment it will provide to Ukraine. Now, the Ukrainians and the Germans supposedly were in negotiation and um, the Ukrainians wanted the Leopard 2 tanks and uh, they wanted everything, <laughs> everything. And uh, we'll see what the Germans gave them. The Leopards will get there. I have no, uh, I mean, I'm 99.9 .9 certain that the Leopards will arrive uh, in Ukraine. So Germany still has no, not provided Ukraine with modern tanks. No Leopards yet, but continues to send other types of weapons including in particular self-propelled howitzers. Now, the Germans did not provide Ukraine with one thing out of 1,000. And that one thing is the most important thing. If you don't provide me with that one, I forget about the whole uh, batch of whatever weapons you provided me. It doesn't matter if you didn't give me that one. As I don't even know what uh, analogy to give you. Like you go to buy a car and someone, someone gives you a car but doesn't give you the, I don't know, the air freshener. Oh my God, well, you're an asshole. Why? Uh, you, you gave me as a present uh, a car but you didn't give me the air freshener. What? And I'm an asshole for that? I gave you everything but the air freshener. Well, that's it. Do you want the exchange thing? I give you the air freshener but I take everything else back? No, 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 no. You have to give me everything. Uh, the question is why? What do I owe you? nothing but anyway that's how it is so uh, i'm quoting the so the source is the zeit citing marie agnes struck zimmerman she's an idiot a person who's 1000 years old doesn't know much about uh, uh military um how should i put it uh military in general let alone uh, armies and weapons, but she's the chair of the defense committee in the German Bundestag. I don't know, man. I don't know. And you expect these guys to uh, to perform? Why do I know? Why do I say she doesn't know shit? Because I was watching this uh, person. I watched this person. I watched his her statement statements and uh, generalities that's what she works with generalities let's do it great let's help good job uh, yeah we're gonna make it uh, pretty soon yes we're gonna win wait a minute there's so many details here no 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 no, no. details means knowledge uh, quote i'm quoting this zimmerman remember zimmerman more self-propelled howitzers have been transferred to ukraine we are talking about 24 units Six or seven Gepard self-propelled anti-aircraft guns will also be provided. Details. The representative of the Bundestag noted that she personally advocates transferring modern Leopard and Marder tanks to Ukraine. So Leopard and Marder. Marder. Okay, but the government still has not supplied this initiative, supported this initiative. Well, uh, maybe they know better. According to Strack Zimmerman, providing them now is really necessary and she no longer, and I'm quoting, sees any reason not to do it. End quote. She sees any reason. Can I, can I mention one? Maybe you just upset the Russians in such a way they're gonna just exterminate all Ukrainians because of that. Oh, you say it's not a possibility? Oh, they're not that bad then? Oh, you said they're terrorists, sponsors of terrorism and all that. So why do you think that would not happen? Oh, I mean, it's a scenario. Well, you said there's no reason. I gave you one. I mean, what do you want? Anyway, man, these are people who are making policies that affect, affect millions of people. People die. Nations 
Go away. Cultures destroyed. For what? For Zimmerman being a politician at 1,000 years old. I have nothing with her age, but it just angers me that she's old and she doesn't know shit. That's what bothers me. I mean, you expect an old person to at least accumulate so much knowledge by experience and by, you know, books, lectures and things like this. You know what I mean? Book smart and street smart. Maybe she is. But then if she is and she makes this kind of statements, what would that make her? A good person? <laughs> no, I think a weasel. Does she know more than we know about the politics over there and what's going on? Certainly the details. She has got more details. She's in the middle of the whole thing. But from outside, what am I supposed to say? She says she has, she says no reason why the tanks should not be given to the Ukrainians. No reason. Zero. Zero. You can't think of one at least? Maybe you ask your constituency? Maybe you ask your German fellow Deutsch, Deutsche Folk? No? Okay. Background. Germany has given Ukraine new commitments to supply weapons to counter the full-scale Russian invasion. Okay. Now, it's not a full-scale Russian invasion because if it were a full-scale Russian invasion, the war would have been over a long time ago. Why? Bring the 30 million Russian, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, population, like a general mobilization, and they will just wipe the whole thing. Use everything and blow everything up, and then what? So that's a general attack. That's a uh, full-scale invasion. Do you think that uh, attacking with uh, 200,000 people now or 300,000 people now, it's a full-scale invasion of a population of 150 or 145 million people? Are you crazy? I mean, really, really. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. And anyway, I, this comes from uh, Ukrainska Pravda, all right? Yeah, so, you know, you have to, certain things you have to cut out of them, but understand uh, where they're coming from. And I'm okay with that. Uh, they're at war and so on. I, I got that. But Zimmermann in Germany, I, as I said many times before, if I would have been in such a war and I would have warned all these guys over there, Poles, Baltic States, United States, everybody who's against me, I would say, if one weapon, if you officially send one weapon into the, the guys I'm fighting, you are part of a war, I'm just going to attack and whatever happens, happens. Then what are you going to do? I mean, what? what, what is this? You provide these guys with weapons to kill me and I'm supposed to not consider you a part of the war or something. Why? And then this Zimmerman speaks from the Bundestag, you know, over there, yells that there's no reason. No, no, it's, it's okay. It's no reason. And by the way, the Russians should just take it, bend over and take it because Zimmerman says, says that. I mean, that would be a full-scale uh, invasion. I tell Germany, Stand down if you send one bullet, one bullet. I don't know, man, I'm crazy, let's do it. And, and they say, well, Putin is crazy. Putin is crazy, like that? Oh, man, it's just, uh, these guys are just, uh, you know, that's probably that's why they are where they are. Because they fit the description, the job description very well. Weasels. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.